This tutorial is a continuation from the last one in the playlist where we were talking about parent and child relationships in jQuery. And what we're going to talk about in this one is we're going to talk about the um, next method and the previous method and uh, a couple others. So what we have right here is we have a div with an ID of container. And unlike last time, um, this just has uh, four p tags in it. The p tags aren't nested in their own divs. We just have four simple p tags uh, nested inside the div with an ID of container. Um, we also have some base styles set at the top. If something has a class of hot, we're giving a color of red. If it has a class of OK, it's getting a color of green. And we have a couple of other colors set there too. So we can go down to the bottom now inside the document ready function. And the first thing we're doing is we're selecting the paragraphs that are descendant of our uh, div with an ID of container. And then we're doing dot first to select the first paragraph. And then we're adding a class of hot so that that um, paragraph is going to become red. And if we refresh here, we'll see that that paragraph um, did become red. Normally, you will always end your jQuery statements with a semicolon. But what we're doing here is we are going to be chaining things um, over and over onto this statement. So we actually don't want a semicolon there. And I'm just going to uncomment the next bit. And what this is doing is I can just pull this up to the you know the top line. Um, you can see we're just chaining on dot next there. Um, but I'm just going to push this um, down to the next line just so it's a bit easier to read. And so what we're doing is um, you know we're on the first paragraph right now and we've just made it red. Um, but what we want to do is we want to work on the very next paragraph right now. So the easiest way to do that is just do dot next. And what dot next is going to do is it's going to se select the very next um, sibling element. So by sibling element, it doesn't mean it necessarily has to be a p tag, which is the same. What we mean by sibling is that you know we have this parent div of container. The parent element is the div with the ID of container, and then we have all of these um, p tags nest inside the div with the ID of container. So they are all siblings. And you know, if after this p tag we had, um, for example, like an img tag, well, that would also be a sibling of the p tags because they're all nested within the um, div with an ID of container. So what we've done is dot next and then dot add class of sunny. So let's just refresh the right side, and you'll see that we did select the next div, and that's orange now um, because it has the class of sunny added. And we can just keep going down here, uncomment the next one. So we're selecting the next paragraph now, and that's going to become green because we give it a class of OK. And you can see where this is going. Um, we're going to select the next one now, and that is going to become uh, blue with the class of wet. So just as we have dot next, we also have dot prev, and that is going to select the previous element. So remember the last one that we worked on was this blue one right here, and we give it a class of, of wet. So what I want to do is I want to go back up now to the one before that, and we can do that with dot prev here, and then we're going to remove the class of OK. So let's refresh the right side now, and you'll see that that doesn't have that class anymore. So it's getting you know the uh, the default style from the browser, which is black. The other thing that I want to talk about in this video was dot prev all and dot next all. So I'm just going to uncomment this next line right here. And what dot prev all is going to do is it's going to select all of the previous elements and it is going to, well, it can do whatever you want to it. Um, in my case, I'm just doing remove class and we're not passing in anything and that is going to remove all classes um, that are present on the element. So remember the last one that we were on was this third one and we removed the class of OK. So if we do dot prev all now and then we do dot remove class and we don't pass anything, that is going to select the two paragraphs before it. And no matter what classes they have, we are going to remove all of those classes. So let's just refresh the right side here, and you'll see that those have lost their classes now.